example three of section 711, we're actually going back to the first example we had there where we asserted that the electric field inside here is constant uh, between the plates. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. So um, inside of that shape, so let's draw that random shape again. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's not quite, anyway. So we have, over here we have potential equals zero. Over here we have potential equals some potential. Okay, so we have a solution for Laplace's equation, which was the Laplacian of V has to equal zero. There's no charge inside here. If there was, it would it'd move right along and create a constant current. Um, on the surface, we're, we don't have any current leaking out so we don't have any of this business where j vector is leaking out there. So we got to set the rule that j vector dot the n hat direction of whatever surface we're using has to be equal to zero. Well, you know, j is equal to sigma dot e, so that means that the sigma e has to equal zero as well. Okay, so the conductivity times the electric field. So there is no, the electric field does not point out so we don't get a J pointing out, and we're not going to get an electric field pointing out. Not going to happen here. Okay. The this implies because of the rule that the E vector is equal to uh, the gradient of the potential. This implies that the derivative of the potential at the this this boundary is equal to zero as well. So dV by the normal is equal to zero at the edge as well. So now we have potential defined here, potential defined here, and the first derivative of the potential defined on the edges, and that's enough to get a unique solution. So using the uniqueness theorem, if we can find a solution, we'll know it'll be the solution to this problem. So a really simple solution is that we have um, the potential over here is zero, and the potential over here is V naught and it just gradually increases as you go along the length here. So we have a length L, okay? So that can just be written out as the potential is equal to uh, V naught times Z over L. And since this is a solution, the uniqueness theorem says this is the solution, okay? And so our E vector is going to be negative the divergence of V. So, the, so that's minus V naught um, over L, and we only have the d by dz of, in the k-hat direction. Okay, so that's our E vector. So this says the, the electric field is pointing, well, this, this way, in the k-hat direction, or depending on whatever axis you set up. So, um, what would happen if we took away this conducting material, if we basically had two plates, same shape, and we're just sticking them out in space, and Pardon my, so we have V naught over here and we have zero, V equals zero over here. And what would happen here is we couldn't, um, we couldn't solve with this boundary condition on the edge there. There's no rule saying the electric field has to be contained within the conductor. And so our electric field is gonna be, you know, uh, pretty, pretty funky, so it's gonna go like, choo, and it, over here it's gonna go like this, and then, and then over here it's gonna go. Okay, so, um, and that's a much more difficult problem to solve uh, given some random um, uh, cross-sectional area. So, hope this helps. Thanks for your time. Bye.